staying active, whether you're aging or just generally, you need to stay active. People get the wrong idea about getting older. So today, we're here with Dr. Ralph Andrade. We're going to talk about getting active and Thank staying active and uh -huh. as we age. I mean, we're always told, well, some of us have been told, well, you're getting up there, you're 40, you got to slow down. Well, maybe slow down, but you need to stay active. It doesn't have to, be, I mean, it doesn't have to be we slow down. Okay. I mean, it's, um, there's no reason why in your, as you get older, that you can't still go out, you can't still enjoy the outdoors. Um, whatever you enjoy doing. Oh, is I it agree. golfing? Is it gardening? Is it bowling? Is it whatever skiing, it is. skiing, water skiing. Correct. Hey. Okay, do it. Just do it. Just do it. Hey, hey, hey. There's, mm -hmm. there's some, I, you know, we can make money with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's been used. Yeah, it's been used. <laughs> but I mean, I played football for nine years. Of course, I didn't go to college playing it. Too small. But there's some, that's a brutal sport. You can't do right. that in your 50s, of Correct. course. But I mean, we have to look at it objectively, I guess. Right. But what, what are the other obstacles, I guess, people run into as we age? They, I think they, some people just give up. Probably because we're told, well, again, you're getting older. Right. Well, as, as we get older, mm -hmm. sometimes it has to do, if you play football, Sure. Did you have any knee injuries? No. Okay, you got lucky. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> as you get older, okay, if you've had like a, an injury that didn't quite heal right, mm -hmm. that may hinder you from, if you have a knee injury, maybe that keeps you from exercising sure. and running. Sure. You might have to adapt, okay? But you might have active. to, but stay active. Right. You, might, you might have to run on a treadmill versus the road, or you might, mm -hmm. maybe you can't play racquetball five days a week, but maybe you can do a couple days a week. Maybe you might have to you know, ride a cart instead of walking golf, mm -hmm. whatever it is. You might have to change it, but some people, as, as they get older, they do give up. Mm -hmm. They think, well, you know, maybe, they, they're, maybe they're a little overweight, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, maybe they have some joint problems or some pain oh, yeah. somewhere. Um, or maybe there's other things. Maybe they, you know, they live at home alone. Maybe they lose a loved one or, you know what I'm saying, they're by yes. themselves. So there's other, there's other components to keep them active, mm -hmm. but my job, the patient, the, what I tell my patients in my office is, look, it, you have a choice. You can be active, okay? You can, you know, I have, I mean, we take care of patients into their 90s. Mm -hmm. And there's so many that are in their mid-80s that still bowl two or three days a week. Good. They play golf once or twice a week. They, they play tennis. Uh, they do, a, they're active. They're just, they, they choose to be involved. And that's what I want people to realize. <coughs> you can be involved. But we've, we've talked about this before on other shows. It's a choice. This lifestyle is a choice. The chiropractic lifestyle is a choice. Yep. Staying active as we get older is a choice if you don't choose it. And, and you mentioned uh, some people just don't choose it. I have a relative who didn't. My father, he just gave up and he passed away. And I don't think he should have because he should have stayed active. And I have another relative who's active and older than my father now and you would never know it. Correct. It's a choice. It is a choice. If you if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Isn't that an old one? We, That's we true. Talk about yeah, all the time. we've heard that before. It's so true. You don't lose. You don't don't lose. Would you, it. If you don't use it, you no, lose it. You lose it. And I think it's so true, especially as we age, because your body does it does age. Your body does age, but you got to take care of it. Correct. Back to what we were talking about before: uh, choosing the right foods, choosing what you do, exercising. Um, what other ideas do you have on? I mean, in, in, staying active. Well, one of the things I tell the patients in my office mm -hmm. is I say, look, it, your 30s, 40s, and 50s are going to dictate the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Wow. Okay? So that's a 60-year that's a, that's a from, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So what, what you do when you're younger, how's your weight? Have you developed healthy habits? Mm -hmm. All right? If your weight is good, um, you get adjusted on a regular basis. So you've, you've, you've improved all that aspect of your life. That's going to determine what happens when we get 60, 70, and 80. Sure. Okay. It does, so we have to look. We, you, so it's never too late to start. Okay? I was going to ask you it's that. Never it's never too late You to can start. always reverse. Correct. Or, or revert back to, or not revert, whatever your lifestyle is. The body is, wants to be healthy. It. Right. The body wants to be healthy. Okay. So start doing something. Mm -hmm. You know what? You may, you may not be able to go out and you know, run five miles, but maybe you can walk on a treadmill to start with. Mm -hmm. May, or, you know, I have patients that have real bad knees, they start with the water. I have a patient who, at one time he was almost 500 pounds. Wow. And he went in to a, the VA hospital and he had something going on with his back, they wanted to do surgery, they said, mm -hmm. you're gonna die, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And of course, me being the inquisitive one, I saw him at the gym, I said, well, 
you waited till you were like 492 pounds. What happened at 430? Wow. Something clicked in his head at that point. Mm -hmm. And now he's under 200. You should, I mean, it, this was like seven or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. He ran like 12 marathons last year. He went from not be, from being on auction. I mean, it, it, total, you wouldn't believe. Total you reverse. wouldn't even recognize him. But he did a, com but he chose to. Something happened mm -hmm. when that doctor said, we can't do surgery, he'll die. He had grandkids, whatever. He, something said, look, enough's enough. Wow. Well, so he, he, he was made a commitment. Five, correct. And, and well, that, that's important to you. You can sort of, okay, I need to make a change. Yeah, 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 I'll get to it eventually. You've got to make a commitment. But it, it is a commitment. He was disciplined. Mm -hmm. um, he told me it took him, I think, 13 months before he could walk a mile on a treadmill. Wow. A year of just, I mean, the first. You still have this guy's information? This guy, this, yeah. this is amazing. This, yes. this is a great guy. To, to, is he into the chiropractic lifestyle yep. as well? Yep. <laughs> I love it. He is now. I love it. I mean, it was a, he, yeah, he, 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 add, he added chiropractic mm -hmm. to his, I mean, this was all, I, I mean, right. I, I would like to say that it was because of, no, he added me after <laughs> It wasn't you, darn. It wasn't me, but he uses me. Mm -hmm. um, He's ha he had some diabetic problems. He's had, you know, loss of toe. How's his diabetes now? Um, on no medication. Love it. I, love I think it. it was 192 different medications he was on over the years. Now he's on zero. Good. So he's made that, again, that, this is an extreme example, but it, he made the choice. So whether or not it's walking, mm -hmm. um, treadmill, if you've got arthritic knees in the pool, start somewhere. You have to start. The key is just starting. Start. Make and a choice. Then, and then I tell look, just push it a little bit each mm -hmm. day, a little bit more. If you can do the treadmill, maybe incline the treadmill. If you go five minutes, go 10 minutes. Wow. Just change it around, mix it up. Try to push your body just mm -hmm. a little bit because the body responds. Your body, your body's your instrument. You it, it, it loves it to be pushed. Yeah, I, I had a back injury years ago and I was told I'd never be able to do this, never be able to do that, and you gotta be careful, yada, 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 yada. I went to a chiropractor. And I started lifting weights again. I started working, actually exercising my back. Correct. And uh, it's been great. Uh, people say, you do what? Well, they wanted to operate. There's no sense in it. You know, I believe, just like you're saying, spine manipulation. Your spine is the center of everything. Adjusting. Adjusting. Get it, get it adjusted, you know? Correct. It's, it, it it's, just it's, makes it's, so much, to me, it makes so much sense. It's one more tool for you. Oh, yeah, okay. definitely. And definitely. Then, and let's keep the weight under control. Let's get in some type mm -hmm. of exercise program, whatever it is. Um, then, then you can then you can start getting mm -hmm. and staying active. Well, it's it's taking people and and changing their mindset and saying, look, back to what we were talking before. Yes, you're 50, you're 60, you're 70, 80, whatever it is. You know, just stay active. Choose a goal. What do you want to do? What do you want? Do you want to live to be 100? I definitely going to live to be over 100. That's my goal. 150, whatever. Chances are you are. <laughs> the, the recent studies show chances are you're going to be 100. So what can you do now at at 30? Oh, right. There you go. Yeah, 30. Yeah, that's right. Um, what can you do now knowing that, hey, there's a good likelihood I'm going sure. to live to 100? Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself physically. Mm -hmm. Okay. What can you do now? Um, mentally. Yep. Okay. Stay, work the mind as well. Um, just be prepared to do that because it, nobody says that as we get older, you, you have to stop enjoying life. I agree. It can be fun all the way to the end. Totally agree. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ralph, I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you, Kelly. That's great. Great to know. Uh, if you're aging, you just stay, stay active. Don't give up. Never give up. You're not giving up, are I you? I ain't giving up. We're going to keep going. Play a little golf. End. Just In keep going. Yep. <laughs>